Hi, uh, 1B. I am sitting here in my favorite reading chair. I think I've shown it to you before when we did another read aloud. Um, I like to sit by the fireplace when I read. It's right here. But I don't have a fire going today because it's actually been a beautiful warm day. But I still like to sit here. It's just a cozy spot. And I've got my blanket and, um, <clears throat> and I've got my new book. And so if you were on our class meeting last Wednesday, or this past Wednesday, um, I started reading The Very, Very Far North. And it's a new book for me. I haven't done this as a read aloud with my first graders before, so you guys are the first ones. Um, it looked like an awesome book um, about a polar bear named Dwayne and his adventures in the very, very far north. So I know that um, some of you weren't on, and I'm going to be reading a chapter a day. So I want to go ahead and reread chapter one in case you weren't on, or in case because we were reading um, as a whole group, it might have been um, hard to hear, or maybe you had to get off a little bit earlier or something. So I'm going to start from the beginning, and we're going to read about Dwayne the Polar Bear and the very, very far north. And the reason that I got so excited about this book, well, first of all, I think the cover looks amazing. So that always draws me in to a good book. But second, um, Dwayne, I was reading on the inside cover, Dwayne's a really good friend. So he's a really good friend to others and he brings out the best in others. So um, that struck me too, because I like stories like that where um, the characters are good. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> The Very, Very Far North. And this book is by Dan Barrel, and it does have some pictures in it. Um, I'm guessing this is the shipwreck that Duane will spot in chapter one. <clears throat> so the first part has an introduction, and it says, if you head north, really north, to the north part of north, where parallels and meridians tangle, where compasses get confused and chronometers lose confidence, and then you reach that north, you go a little bit further north, that's where you're gonna find Dwayne and his friends. It is a world apart, but it's familiar all the same. Dwayne will likely greet you with the warm affection he shows for his friends. Cece, magic, handsome, and the others. He might offer you an icicle treat or ask your opinion on whether a mid-late morning nap is preferable to a late mid-afternoon nap. And if, during the first few minutes of your chat, you find yourself unable to stop staring, unable to overlook the fact that Dwayne is a polar bear, do not worry, Dwayne won't be upset. Dwayne rarely gets upset, rarely means hardly ever. He has only kindness in his heart, which is why his friends love him so. But for those of you who have limited time due to school or soccer practice, or because your parents need looking after, and making a long trek up north is just not possible at the moment, then the story I'm about to tell you will tide you over until you're ready. So that was the introduction. I'm gonna stop there and start over for chapter one so that um, I don't take up all my time. Be right back, you can click on the next link.